Welcome back to another stream and in the last one we have explored something called React Helmet which allowed us to set page titles and page descriptions for each of these pages, right? These titles will start appearing in Google search results very soon because Google actually goes into your website and runs the JavaScript and as soon as the JavaScript runs, the title gets set to this one and then Google, uh, the search engine, will pick up the title and the meta description from the site. But when these links get shared on social media, then the JavaScript is not going to run. So let's say I'm sending a Slack message to one of my colleagues and I just copied this link. Slack is not going to run the JavaScript on the website to grab the meta um, headers, right? It's just going to grab the default one. And this is the static one that's being served by index.html. So to fix this problem, people usually do something called server-side rendering. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can skip server-side rendering altogether by using something called React Snap. This thing generates static HTML files with the meta tags automatically after you complete the build. So when you do npm run script build, this thing runs and then automatically crawls through every single link that you have in your page and then creates static HTML files with the meta tags inside them. So if someone shares the link, then they're going to get the correct meta preview. This is done without server-side renderings overhead, right? Server-side rendering is very complex to solve this problem. Like I'd rather not do server-side rendering just to solve this tiny problem. Unfortunately, this is here, so we are going to use it in this one. Let's install this library and then use it. npm i react snap Save. So while this is installing, let's go back to the documentation and let's see how this thing is used. So in your index.js for React 16 plus, you you need this thing. Uh, we are not using Preact. We are using Create React App, and it works out of the box with Create React App. No code, no code changes required, which is perfect, right? So I'm just going to copy this and let's go to our index.js, and I'll just paste this thing in here. So this is our React App, right? Um, and I'm going to extract that into its own variable. So I'm just going to call it const app equals and in parentheses, we're going to extract this thing into its own variable. So let's clean that up. Okay. We don't need this thing anymore. Um, we can remove that from there and let's just move this one to over there. Okay. Let's clean this file up and we're going to use the app in here. Well, um, this is pretty much it. And we need to add this scripts thing into our package.json. The scripts, um, this thing probably exists, so just copy that line. So let's go to package.json. And in your scripts array, just put this thing in here. After the build completes, um, the React Snap script will start running and it will crawl through all of your links and it will grab the correct metadata for all of them. So let's do an npm run script build. Let's see if that works. Okay, so you can see that React Snap started running and it's crawling through all of my pages now. And you're going to see some warnings. Those are um, being generated by Firebase. I'm going to solve that problem in a later stream, but you don't have to worry about that. So it's crawling through all of the links that I have. It's going to my blog, my 404 page, my other blog posts. And I think we are good to do a deployment now. I have tested this before. That's how I know the deployment will work. And after the de um, deployment completes, we should be able to see our tags in um, the meta tags.io website. By the way, this is this shouldn't be the only tool that you rely on. Um, there's another one called MetaPreview.app. This is made by one of my friends. This guy is a React developer slash designer, so you might as well check this one out as well. Uh, this one just shows how your messages are going to look when you share them. Also, there's another one called LinkedIn Post Inspector. So if you search for this in Google, you're going to get the link for it. Okay. So it seems like the deployment has been completed. So let's try Sam's tool. I'm just going to check if the correct meta tag exists for one of my blog posts. All right, so you can see the title is correct now and it says earphones have come a long way. It's about time we forget about the headphone jack. So let's go back to this one. 
it used to say, hey, this is my personal website. So if I click, um, so if it, I'll just click, tap, uh, I'll just press enter again, I guess. Okay, so you can see the updated ones. So you, you can see the um, title is correct. Um, this part is correct as well. Let's check the blog area. And that's probably going to be, yep, that's it. That's name and surname dash blog. Um, and the description says, this is my personal blog where I share my opinions, success stories and stuff. Yeah. So let's see, check it using Sam's tool again. Um, this seems to be fine. The only thing that's missing is the images in here, right? The Slack messages and everything else seems to be sharing an image. And that's what I'm going to explore in my next video. So I'm going to have an image for my homepage, for my blog, for the 404 page and all of my blog posts. And all, all of those things are going to get generated during the build, hopefully. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that will go. But yeah, that's the topic for my next video. And I hope you learned something new from this one. And yeah, I will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.